this incredible journey began in snowy, cold Anchorage, Alaska, and ended a little more than four months later in the beautiful Northwest. It was OSU's first appearance in the Final Four in 44 years. It came during a season when the Cowboys were celebrating the 50-year anniversary of their first NCAA basketball championship. This was a very special ball club because they did uh, everything we asked of them as a coaching staff. They worked hard and they did maximize their talent and uh, they represented Oklahoma State in a class manner. There was never any place we went, even in defeat, that people didn't write me or sports writers from other areas didn't tell me, boy, what a wonderful group of young men that you have representing Oklahoma State. And so because of that, I think I will look back and say this was a fun year and a very special year. Gallagher Ivor Arena again showed no mercy to visiting teams. Oklahoma State was perfect at home in 12 starts this year, extended its overall home court winning streak to 18 in a row, and hiked its record to an incredible 64 and 4 since Eddie Sutton returned to his alma mater. No place is it as tough for opponents to come in and beat the home team as it is right here in Gallagher Ivor Arena. This place is special, and I think one reason that it is so difficult to win here is the great fan support we have. Our fans are the best. More than a thousand fans put the finishing touch on this incredible season when they crowded into Gallagher Iba Arena for the annual basketball banquet. It was a perfect way to tell a special group of Cowboys thanks. Thanks for taking the program to the next level. I thank the coaching staff, I thank the players, and, uh, I thank you because uh, you have made these five years back here something very special for the Sutton family. After taking part in the prestigious Great Alaska Shootout in Anchorage over the Thanksgiving holiday, the Cowboys returned to host SMU in the home opener. OSU pounded the ponies 73-51 as Bryant Reeves scored 27 points. It was Oklahoma State's 20th straight win in a home opener and 54th in 57 all-time season debuts in Gallagher Iva Arena. The Cowboys rolled through the Bank 4 Classic in Tulsa. OSU ripped Appalachian State 85-58 behind Reeves 33 points and came back the next night to rip Texas A&M 86-56 as five Cowboys finished in double figures. Reeves again led the way with 21 points. Reeves passed Bob Curlin on the OSU career scoring chart with his performance in the Maybe Center. He took sole possession of second place and maintained his 30-point scoring average in the Cowboys' home away from home. The R boys, Reeves, Rutherford, and Roberts combined for 81 points four nights later as the Cowboys shot almost 57% in route to a 93-88 win over state rival Tulsa. Andre Owens had 11 assists as the Cowboys defeated Tulsa for the ninth time in the last 11 meetings. The Cowboys ran their maybe set a record to 9-0 under Eddie Sutton when they pummeled LSU 111-67 to to notch their seventh straight victory. Rutherford continued his torrid shooting as he led four players in double figures with 28. Owens dazzled a crowd of almost 8,000 with 18 points, 11 assists, and 6 steals, while Collins added 16 points. OSU made the most of its second of four ESPN appearances. The Cowboys blistered the Nets to the tune of a season-high 64% and posted the sixth most points in school history. The Cowboys completed a stretch where they played five of six games on the road at East Lansing, Michigan against 11th-ranked Michigan State. I think when we got to uh, Michigan State in a game that we probably should have won, but it took a last second shot, a young man that hadn't even hit a three hit one and beat us. But we left East Lansing knowing that we were good and we gained a lot of confidence even in defeat. And from that point on, we played excellent basketball. We didn't win them all, but we really played uh, very well. And the team started gaining confidence and they had great chemistry. Uh, and I think that's always important. A lot of times ball clubs have a, a lot of talent, but if the chemistry's not right, you don't win. And this ball club, I think, matured because all of a sudden they realized what each one of them's role should be, what they could do the best to help the team win. And it's a coaching staff's responsibility to define roles. Everybody's a role player. Uh, what are the strengths of each player? And I think our players accepted that. And from that point on, they really became a good basketball team. 
And by the time uh, we reached the Big 8 tournament, we knew we could play with anybody in the country. Oklahoma State would win 17 of the next 20 and work its way to Seattle's King Dome to take on UCLA in the first national semifinal contest a little more than two months later. The Cowboys returned to Big 8 conference play 48 hours after returning from East Lansing. It was Big Monday, and ESPN was on hand to view another edition of the Bedlam rivalry. OSU saw all five starters score in double figures and rode that balance to a 72-64 win over the Sooners. It was the Cowboys' third straight win over OU. Oklahoma State was again led by Rutherford, whose 17 points moved him into 13th place on the all-time school scoring list. Scott Pierce added 11 points and four assists. Owens matched his career high of six steals to go along with his 15 points. The Cowboy defense held Oklahoma to 29% shooting from three-point range and allowed the Sooners just 11 free throw chances. 16th ranked Missouri came calling six days later and the Cowboys smothered the Tigers defensively. Mizzou shot just 31% from the field while the Cowboys answered with 58% shooting on their end. That combination resulted in an 85-70 win. Reeves and Rutherford teamed to score 51 points and pulled down 16 boards as Eddie Sutton moved into sole possession of second place on the victory chart, notching his 108th since returning to Stillwater. Oklahoma State took momentum gained from those wins on the road and posted a 19-point victory at Colorado and a 17-point win at Nebraska. Reeves was overpowering as he scored 33 points in Boulder. Rutherford had the hot hand four nights later as he bagged 31 to go along with Reeves 24. Rutherford tied his own school mark with eight trays. It was the same familiar script as the Cowboys shot 60% and held the Huskers to 37%. OSU headed back to Gallagher Ibarina with a 4-1 league mark. OSU disposed of Colorado for the second time in a week as the Cowboys drilled the Buffs 94-67. Riding a five-game conference winning streak for the second time in five seasons, Oklahoma State took dead aim at the Big 8 lead.